you find out who owns this place? I don't. We were just talking about that. I think my mom and dad know it for free. So you wouldn't suspect it by looking at this barn, but behind the door is a 1968 Corvette 427 435 horsepower convertible. So this car has been parked in this garage in this spot since 1991. So it's been here for a minute. We finally got this thing freed up. There was all this junk wedged underneath it. So something made a nest under this car but both of the rear brakes were locked up. So I pounded on the rotors on both sides, broke them free. This side broke free pretty quick. Got the wheel back on, checked the front one. It also spun, so we were good there. But the passenger side, well, she put up a lot bigger of a fight. Was able to get that one broken free also. Didn't damage anything, so she's rolling. Let me show you guys the inside. So this car ran when parked. So everything worked at one point. Looks like it has 57,000 miles on it. Gauges have a little bit of surface rust. There's a funk in here. A little bit wet and a lot of evidence of something being in here. Probably gonna need, oh yeah, probably gonna need new carpet. Something's been in the insulation over there. Had the eight track or the cassette player in there. That's that's pretty handy. Got a hat. Must have been Greg's hat. Corvette hat. Some custom speakers in the back. Maybe more of a chunk of foam rags. I don't know what that what that is back there. But everything's here. Two top car. The other top might be black. I really can't tell. No battery in it. It's probably a good thing. 
But, you know, we got her this far. This is originally a silver car with a black interior. It's just a different silver right now. It's got a bigger metallic, bigger metallic, I don't know if it shows up in the camera, but it's got a pretty decent sized flake in it. Car is super complete, like I said, ran when parked. Under the hood. So this is a real 427, 435 horse car, but this isn't the original engine. It was, I'm not sure what year it was replaced, but whenever Greg got the car, I believe was in the early to mid eighties. It had this engine in it already, but it still got the right setup on it. I didn't run numbers to see, you know, what the carbs are, or what, what the engine is, but it looks like it's very complete. It looks like it has the tran, I don't know if that's transistor ignition or what, but if it has this little module here on the fender, that's one indication that it was a 435 horse car. Pretty standard under here. Manual brakes. I think it's got manual steering as well. But it looks looks pretty decent. I already checked the oil. The last time I was here, had oil, still had some viscosity. And if I pull the cover here, you can see. Well, maybe you'll see. Be able to see or not it's actually pretty clean in here it's not all full of surface rust and stuff so the valve covers everything have surface rust but it doesn't look like it's anything too too major but something was living in here packing this thing full so there's a nest all in through here and that plastic made its way through here so it's a little nasty there but overall pretty clean it's got like the Later C3 style wheels, 78, 76, I don't know what year they started running those. Looks pretty cool. Door stay open. Yeah. It's all here, it's got that old car smell. It's pretty cool. Doors both closed nice. And back here, we didn't take the cover completely off, but I think she looks pretty decent back here too. She's got, oh, we got the bubble tail lights, back exhaust, Pennsylvania plate, 427 Corvette, three twos. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So this car was was parked before I was alive. It's a nice, nice, I mean, we can make a nice survivor out of it. And this is so far the only defect that I found on the car. And supposedly this is the reason why the car was parked he was driving it and a wheel weight came off or he had a stone something like that happened and it flew up and hit the fender and spider cracked the paint right here so i never even knew this building existed back here i always thought the car was stored over there which would have been a lot easier to get out i don't know how well you can tell but this parking lot here was redone after the car was put in here and this bank you know was redone so it's the car can't drive in the way it came out. So I think the view down here gives you a better idea of what we're dealing with. You can see where the pickup is up here. So there's a pretty steep bank right here, so. It's a little change of pace working on a C3 Corvette. This was my dad's best friend's car, his best man. Uh, they went hunting together, fishing. My dad had his Corvette back in 82, and then Greg also wanted a mid-year, so they went shopping at Corvettes at Carlisle to find one of the very first Corvettes at Carlisle show. And they found that 68 Corvette. He cruised it around for, what, nine years, 10 years, something like that. And then 
because of that stone chip and other reasons life gets in the way he put the car away and his brother also used to keep his 68 corvette in that garage and his boat in there i think he paid like a hundred dollars a year or something to to rent that space which back in the day was probably pretty decent and now i mean that that building was really rough i'm expecting the car to come out here in the fall whenever i have an opening in the garage this thing will be gone by then and we'll be sure to get that thing running and driving again. Now, I said the car is a really nice car, which it is compared to what I'm used to working on, but it still needs a lot of work. It's gonna need you know, wiring, interior, mechanical, brakes, engine work, fuel system, you know, interior. It's gonna need a complete overhaul. Um, it probably could use a paint job in some areas, but I think we're just gonna leave all that alone, clean it up the best we can. Um, where it's not going to be necessarily like a budget build. I'm, I want this thing to be super reliable that someone can hop in it and enjoy it, not have any issues. So I don't want to skimp out on anything like that, but some cosmetic stuff that can be worked on in the future, you know, then we'll maybe save that for the future or, you know, we'll see when we get it here. It's going to need a lot of attention, but I think it'll be at a good home. I'm definitely honored to work on it just for um, as much meaning as the car has to everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of work to do on this car and I have to make some space for that 68 Corvette, which will be here very soon. And also hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays from my family to yours. And I got a lot of work to do, so I'll catch you guys later.